think that's very smart. No, but you have to tell me truthfully, though. I think you are wonderful. I think you are brave. I think you're talented. I'm here Do for moral that's support. That's great, but I don't need like Instagram memes. I need like real life talk. I think you're wonderful. <laughs> good, 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 good. That was a test. You passed the test. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Hello, hey, everyone. Welcome. We are coming at you with another OMG, we're coming over. You we guys, are. we are on the porch about ready to go inside Mia Stammer and Kyle Hatch's house. Ken the dog. Don't forget about Ken the dog. Hey guys, I'm Mia Stammer and I have a YouTube channel called Mama Mia Makeup. Hey, I'm Kyle Hatch. I am a videographer in the LA area and I live stream on Twitch. If you're new to our channel, from Mia's hello, welcome, and please subscribe to our videos. We make all kinds of videos with room makeovers and beyond. I mean, like you can binge watch, I don't know how many, 15 episodes or something of, of our series where we do YouTubers homes. So uh, click on somewhere where that link's gonna be to that playlist. Uh, also, you can become a creative weirdo. Yeah. That's what we're called here in this community. Yeah. So welcome. We celebrate creativity and weirdness because being weird is being you. So let's get creative and weird, shall we? Let's do it. Let's go. Bohemian, here we come. <gasps> All right. <laughs> Your house is so cool. It is Thanks. neat. Like this is such a funky place. This was probably built in what? The 50s. 50s? Right? Yeah. And it's 50s? like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, it's, like, it's kind of like Japanese vibes, yeah. right? But, but your style home. isn't really Japanese. No. It's like, let's talk about your style, because I'm very excited about So it. my living room is a mess. I moved in like five months ago, and it still looks like I just moved in. I'm just wanting some boho vibes. I think it would match my personality more, and it's also a place where I work and vlog and just live and sit on the couch all the time. So I just I just need it to be more comfortable and more me. I mean, the inspiration pictures that you sent me, I love. Like I describe them as like, classic bohemian, kind of like 60s, 70s vibes, which you're okay with. I am definitely okay with it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't know what boho was before any of this, but when I saw the vision board and when Mia talked to me about what she was thinking, I was pretty on board with it. I got really excited. Well, it, it's sort of the manliest version of boho because there's a lot of like neutrals and browns and yeah. you know, those kind of like earthier tones as opposed to like pastels which I'm so excited because it's so perfect for the space. It's kind of almost like you have two living rooms. It's intimidating a little bit. Yeah, we never knew what to do with like the second part of the living room, so it's kind of just like Ken's, you know, run around area. Ken's dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> this room is huge, you guys. So this is like the living room, but also the lounge. There's a fireplace in the center, kind of dividing two areas that you would think would be two seating areas. So that's what we're gonna do in the space. Yeah, because you have your TV area over there with the L-shaped couch, mm -hmm. which like we're okay with changing up mm. for the sake of your... For his back. His back. We currently have a couch situation. She likes the couch, but for me, it, I'm not a huge fan. I'm a bit of a bigger person and it gives me back pain. So I'm really just looking for something bigger, a little bit more comfortable that's not gonna make me want to stretch for two hours after I get off it. This is cool. Yeah. It's like a funky, nice built-in. Yeah, in. I love this. I don't know what to do with it, as you can tell. Like, I kind of decorated it, but honestly, last night I finally took out the Christmas decor. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> in preparation of us coming over. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> Where is Ken, by the way? Ken is Kyle and Mia's kid. He is vivacious. He loves living up in the hills. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You wanna do a project? You, you wanna do a project, Ken? You're yeah. so much part of the family. We need to do a project. Right, Come back. Right. In thinking about this room and the kind of artistic lifestyle that is being a bohemian, I was like, let's have Ken be our like bohemian artiste. Since Ken is such an important part of your family, 
We need a photo shoot with him, right? Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> I was not expecting Ken to be part of the craft project, but I'm also so down for that. <laughs> Bohemian is very globally inspired, right? So it pulls from like a lot of different styles from around the world. So let's give him four different looks. <laughs> I'll photos. take the photo. I'll be light guy. Yeah. You can be Ken Wrangler and you're Ken stylist, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so I've laid out the props here. We've got flower crowns. We've got a variety of sunglasses. So let's see what magic we can create. A star. Work it. Ken, 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 Ken. Here, Ken, hold on to the hot dog. Oh, yeah. Cover your hot dog. Mia, look at Kyle. Kyle, look at Mia. Kiss it, kiss it. Give it a, give us a kiss. Look, each other, each other. Oh, yeah. Kiss each other. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's Beautiful. really cute. Got it? All right, let's let's paint, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so we got the photo shoot with Ken done. I'm gonna edit those photos, get those printed ASAP. It's time for Paint Showdown. <laughs> Guys, let's paint. <laughs> let's paint. <laughs> you like white walls. Uh -huh which I know about you, and so we're keeping the majority of them white. But this wall is, it's a toughie, right? So we're doing something different. We're doing like an accent wall, but in the bohemian style. Oh. What color do you think it's gonna be? Go. Uh, like a pale yellow. What color do you think it's gonna be? Fuchsia. <laughs> do you know what color fuchsia is? I don't. <laughs> you don't know. Honestly, I don't know what fuchsia is. I'm pretty sure fuchsia is, actually, I don't really know what fuchsia is. I think fuchsia is purple. Will someone show me fuchsia? Fuchsia is like an electric raspberry. It's like if you took purple and red and mixed them together and created just this beautiful, sumptuous pink color. We are not doing that on the wall, so Kyle, don't worry. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh! Ah! It's Wait, I like love a, it. Like a terracotta. It's like if you made a latte with terracotta powder. This will dry just a touch darker than what it looks now. And I think it's gonna be beautiful. I have, I have more planned for this wall, but you guys are gonna just get it started. Of painting. I've painted my bedroom like five times and I've helped Kyle paint and I don't know, there's just something like really satisfying about it. Just yeah, you can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Nope. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, this is so pretty. pretty. You gotta show me that dual roller move. Oh. oh guys, I do not own exclusive rights to the two roll. The two roll is for all of you. So please feel free to roll away. There's nothing to it, bruh. The key is you have to shimmy down the wall while you do it. Okay. Ready? Oh no, don't tweet. I don't want him to see. Cryo to roll! Oh my gosh, Kyle, two rolls. Yes! Go, Kyle. Go, Kyle. I've never been more attracted to you. A really bad You're job. doing a fantastic job. No, the first coat is all about just getting coverage, and then we kind of go in and finesse. Oh my gosh, Mia is a great painter. She just dove right in, which I'm so thankful for. So Kyle, what are you doing on Twitch? Well, I have a variety show with colorful lights and music and freestyles and stories. So you put on your own laser light show on the <laughs> internet, basically. Yeah, pretty much. What is it about the bohemian style that you like? It just seems so comfortable and yeah. I'm also really into like the muted colors. It's perfect for this house because it's like you want to celebrate the nature that's surrounding the house. So having yeah. those more like earthy tones in here creates more of like an indoor outdoor feeling. Ooh. Ooh. That was a perfect description. <laughs> <laughs> like I might just do this every day of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! First Ooh. coat done. It looks, looks so good. Do you love this color, Mia? I love I it. I am obsessed. What about you, Kyle? I think it's one of the only colors that would work in here. 
Oh. oh. Kyle is so sticky. He is such a, a oh, easy, so strong. easy guy. <laughs> you made such a good choice. Thanks. Yeah. You guys both think, oh, he's blushing. <laughs> I have more plans for this wall, and obviously the rest of the room we have to pull together, so I have a big plan for this wall, but I don't want me and Kyle to see, so bye, guys. Good yeah. first coat. Joey loves the high five. Here, I'll do this. Oh, yeah. Switching it up. <laughs> All right, go. Okay, go. Okay, right. bye. Yeah, wake him up from his nap. Bye. 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 Today's episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. It's actually a perfect partnership because A, Kyle and Mia love technology and love having a smart home, and they need an alarm system, so we're gonna give them one. I love how well designed and stylish the system is. The entry sensors, the keypad, even the siren is cute, and they all come with removable mounting tape and no hard wiring is needed, so it's the perfect solution for effective, reliable DIY home security. I mean, honestly, I've worked with a ton of different alarm systems, and this is by far my current favorite. It's so easy to set up, the smart feature like reminders when you leave a door open and it's sleek key fobs and small sensors with long range all make it my current favorite all of that plus it's monitored by professionals who will call you in an emergency and send police it's also super fast and consistent and you can use cameras to see what's happening right from your phone and it's built in with all kinds of safeguards so even if you lose your internet or phone line or power or even if someone attacks the system it keeps working whoa it's an awesome system yeah and it's reasonably priced it starts at $14.99 with no contracts so I'm telling you guys, if you want an easy to install feature pack system, check out Simply Safe. It really is home security done right. Okay, Joey could talk about this forever, but let's get back to the decorating, shall we? Let's do it. All right, let's think through this. We're gonna let this dry, then it's gonna get a second coat, and then you're gonna do the thing on top of this still. Yeah, okay, so this is our, the, the what we're calling this, they're gone, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is our DIY mud cloth wall. So the next step is to create kind of a fabric look to the wall because mud cloth obviously is a cloth and it's usually done on what ends up looking kind of like a canvas. It's sort of a coarse, weave of fabric. I have a darker, like a slightly darker shade of this color that I think I want to mix with some glaze. Glaze is just a medium, like a latex paint that thins the paint. So essentially it makes whatever color you want slightly more translucent. And so I'm just mixing this glaze in. I'm using this big brush with coarse bristles, letting the bristles kind of run out of paint as I go down the wall or go up the wall. And by doing it just in one direction, it's kind of creating the look of a weave. Oh man, this looks so cool. I know, right? It turned out really well. Does it's, it look kind of like uh, canvassy? Yeah, no, it totally. So I want it to look hand done and hand drawn, but I also don't want it to be so tilted that it like skews weird. So I'm gonna keep this laser line going vertically as I go down the rows. So now that we got the mud cloth base on where the wall actually looks like a fabric. Kate's gonna go on and trace what would normally be the bleach marks. It's gonna be where she's gonna paint in the funky patterns. And while she does that, I'm gonna get some lights on the wall. So we got these really cool lights and we're gonna hang those and swag those over where the little coffee table area is gonna be. So I'm just gonna get those up while Kate works on her mud cloth project. African mud cloth is a time honored tradition. It's handmade, it's hand done, which is perfect for us because I'm gonna just do it by hand. I'm going to use the laser level as kind of my guide as I go along to make sure I'm not making the rows too slanted. Joey. What? Goodwill. Goodwill. Thrift store find. Wow. Right? Like, so cute and boho. Ah! This shelving unit, you guys, is kind of shelfy styling gold slash nightmare because if you do it wrong, it could just look kind of sad. All right, so opposite of this awesome accent wall, we are putting a gigantic couch. How oh. awesome is this couch? This oh, is man. Kyle's couch. I mean, it's very bohemian. Oh. It is so it's comfy so and comfy. big. How good does that light look? Okay. Oh. It looks great, but what? I'm not really loving the like loop. It like it's a little Loch Ness monster. You guys know what I'm talking about, like the double hump of the Loch Ness and all those photos. Like, I know we're globally inspired and maybe we could have a little bit of Scotland in here, but it's not the look I'm going for. Maybe we do some kind of cool knot or something in it, like kind of like a 
bigger loop knot. Less Loch Nessy, more humpy, less humpy, less Loch Nessy, more knotty. I have no idea what's happening here. We need to bring in the rug. Okay, let's go. Rug cuddle, here we Loch come. Ness swag, Loch Ness swag. Okay. Hey, <laughs> less Loch Ness, humpy dumpy, what way? No hope for swag, 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 swag. <laughs> All right. Why don't we bring in the couch first? What I know. When do we, will we ever learn? Okay, so no bohemian room is complete without a rug. And this one is for this side. We have more going over there. So you ready for some epic rug cuddles? Mm. No, 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 no. Not yet. Let's unroll <laughs> the rug first. Jeez. This rug is awesome. It's like a jute mix, but it has a pattern on it. And it's a very warm room with all of the wood that's going on in the ceiling and on the floor. So a red is perfect to kind of complement that warmth. Bring it in, bring it in. Just load it on top. Look, I have to put my, that means I have to put my, wait, hang on. Oh, oh saggy no. Superman, <laughs> saggy Superman. <laughs> Joey, help me with this. Look at this beautiful woven. Coffee table, right? We're mixing wood tones. This is also a nice, long, narrow coffee table. I played with a lot of shapes in this room because we have so many seating areas kind of in a line. They have to differ in shape from each other. I think I'm like not gonna be able to get out of this couch. Wait, look at how gorgeous these chairs are, right? Yeah, beautiful. These accent chairs are so badass. Oh my gosh, look at that. Love it. <gasps> And there's another one. You guys know I love a credenza, nice and long, under the TV. My rule is to always make sure that the piece of furniture going under your TV is wider than your actual TV. We're gonna actually mount the TV on the wall just to really make everything clean in here. All right, while Joey's mounting the TV, I am going to do the dog treat bar. I'm so excited about this idea. So you guys know a lot of times people have bars, right? In their house, they have a bar cart or something where they have their glasses and you know their little accoutrements for making cocktails. Well, we are going to take this and do it doggy style. Oh. Bohemian dreams are coming true. One floor pillow at a time. Floor pillows are key if you want that Moroccan feel. So we have this beautiful tray table in the middle. It's round. And then on top of the furry rug, I'm placing these floor pillows. Now, floor pillows are floor pillows. You wanna make sure that you're getting floor pillows instead of cushions because they're thicker. Above the fireplace, I'm placing this really cool kind of linear mirror thing. It has a kind of a mod look to it. Again, we're playing with different textures and I'm hanging it with the command strips, which is perfect so we don't have to damage the stone. On the fireplace, I also styled a stack of birch logs, which is just a really nice, cozy look. So now this is gonna be a layered rug situation. Look at this one. Very Ooh. boho, layered rugs. If you want a bohemian look, layer rugs. Ooh, this works. Yeah. Felt softer blankets, but. Why are you holding my hand like that? Why are you holding my hand like that? Your what am I doing? goes there. No, uh, what? <laughs> No, you're usually holding Winston's hand. Okay, this was great. This was the warmest rug cuddle I've ever had. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me know when we can leave. Which side is this going on? Okay, so this is going over here. Because they, we're, we're maintaining a walkway to their dining room, right? Oh yeah, yeah, because their dining room's here. Hello, dining room. How you doing? Yeah, so dining room's here. And then this is like their seating area adjacent to their dining room because over there the couch is facing the wall for the TV. This one, we're having it face out to see this beautiful view. Guys, this is where we're celebrating the view, right? We're really appreciating nature. We're bringing the colors of nature into the room. So we also need a nice viewing spot to view the view. Oh, that is great. I've been wanting to use a day bed for so long. And this one is awesome because it doesn't have a back. So it's, it's a day bed slash bench. The reason why it's not a bench is because it's wider. So it's like a day bed depth, but it doesn't have the back, which is perfect because we are gonna be placing chairs opposite to it. And so that way there's no back conflicting with the viewing 
of the nature out the window. They match your shirt. <gasps> I might have planned that. pillows are so important. So on the couch, I'm styling a leopard throw pillow with a kill em throw pillow with a furry one. Again, really playing with texture, but with the textiles, it's like you want it to feel like you've collected them over your travels across the globe. So I'm playing a lot with levels with the plants. So in the other corner opposite the big tree, I have some hanging plants. We've got big leaves, smaller leaves, and then some plant stands coming up from the bottom. Plants are also a big part of styling the shelf. The portrait of the family, of course, has to be on the shelfie. They look so cute together. I love this candid pic of them. I brought in a lot of frames. I removed some of the shelf so that we have some bigger openings. And then I'm also placing a ton of thrifted items. I went to the thrift store and I just combed the aisles and got a bunch of different metallics and just things that tell the story of kind of a global look. Over by the fireplace, I'm placing more plants. I've got this gorgeous palm tree. I mean, we just have greenery going on everywhere in this room and I'm loving it. <laughs> Guys, how cute are these pictures? <laughs> Of course, I can't, guys. Hashtag we love poof. I think we're done here. I think it is time for me and Kyle to check out their space. <laughs> All right, Joey, you got Kyle, I got Mia. Go ahead, train it. So okay. Nervous. Yep, grab the on to me. make it like so much more nerve wracking. Really? Yeah. I know, I get nervous too. Hold your How hand. long is this hallway? Blindfold. I'm walking down my own hall in my own home and I don't know where I am. Back, where exactly. Are I feel back. like we're already in your room. Are we in the dining room? So I've never been blindfolded before and this makes things so much more nerve wracking. I don't know about you. I've got a stomach full of butterflies right now. Okay. On the count of three. three. I'm shaking! Ah! <laughs> One, Thank you. Three. One, Ready? two, two three. Whoa. Right now I'm thinking, am I gonna cry? And I, I think I am crying a little bit. <laughs> Wait, this looks <laughs> crazy. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh my god, so oh, yeah. Yeah. thank you so much. Is it Bohemian? Do you love it? Are you into the boho? You can cry. Crazy. I love oh, it wait, so much. Yes, a David. So this is wait. where you can enjoy the view. Walk. Come on. Yeah. Take it in. So this wow. is, this is your insane. dog treat bar. What? <laughs> oh right? God. Really? Oh that's so cute. That, okay, that's good. It's so that's good. good. And those are those are little mats. Uh, those are his yoga mats, doggy yoga mats rolled up in there. How big is the wall? It's perfect. Insane. So I, it was inspired by mud cloth, so African mud cloth. So, so you guys can have your, your boho Japanese dinners on the floor. And then Kyle, here's your new. It looks, oh, so, it it looks so comfortable. Yeah, take it. Oh my god. It's super cushy. Wow. <laughs> right? Oh, this is good. It's so good. It's like, it feels so much bigger. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Paint. Oh nice. <laughs> that looks so good. 
Bohemian, it's like so your inspiration photos, right? This light's cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that. I was like, I wonder if they're gonna come up with some creative lighting thing. Oh yeah, and those obviously, we don't have them on, right? but those turn on those lights. This hutch is awesome. That looks That's very so good. pretty. All of the different textures in here. Yay! I love this room. Like I, I had love so it. much fun designing this room. So thank this you. This is like way beyond anything I could have dreamt. <laughs> it was a big room. I mean. But what's so great about it is you like kind of constantly have pretty views. Right. You know, like no matter yeah. where you're sitting, it's like everywhere you look. Like, like I could like, film oh. anywhere. I could like exactly. Film, like, Backdrop. Right there, right there. Yeah. Oh, we should bring Ken in. <gasps> Ken, <gasps> unleash the Ken. Oh my God. Yay! Yay! Don't be on the rugs! <laughs> what does Ken want? What kind of treat is Ken? Ken, would you like um we have some larger cookies here or there's some smaller nibbles over there? They actually smelled really good when I was putting them in there. Yeah, should I try this? <laughs> Add some human snack. Oh god. You can eat dog biscuits. Can I do a trick? Oh, no, I'll do a trick. Oh, good boy. So you guys love it. You love, I love it. it. All right. Yay! Yes. Give us hugs. We're leaving Thank you so now. Much. Thank you so much. It's been a Thanks long day. Thanks for letting us invade you. your space, Kyle. Oh You're my awesome. gosh. You. I'm so glad. Can't good. wait to check you out on Twitch. I'm so glad that you love it. This is <laughs> so I'm much sad. fun. Bye. You guys, Enjoy. Stay peaceful and beautiful and love. Yes. In Boho love. Boho vibes. And, all right. Boho Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I think this is my new favorite episode. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Easily. I cannot believe how good that turned out. I know, it looks so beautiful. I just love that we're celebrating like the history of the house, the outside, the bohemian lifestyle, their artists. Yeah. And I think Kyle was psyched about it, which yeah. I was nervous about. I know, he loves the couch. Ken loves it. I mean, his photos. I his mean, it's obviously very Mia aesthetic, so that's totally. perfect. Guys, make sure and check out Mia's channel. Um, Subscribe to me if you haven't. Get on it. She's amazing. And also go check out Kyle's content too. He does really cool stuff. Yeah, go and go watch go, him Twitch. Yeah, go watch him Twitch and also go follow Ken on Instagram. Oh, He's got a great Instagram. Ken on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. While you're at it, why don't you go follow us on Instagram? Oh yeah, follow us on Instagram too. And uh, how about a big thumbs up for Kate and that mud cloth wall? I mean, is there anything she can't do? Yeah. What? Fly a plane. Uh, eat. For shishito peppers? Shishito peppers. She I don't like shishito peppers. I always get the hot one. You're guys. so talented. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you. We'll see you later. We love you. Bye. Bye. It's hey, Kate, like do you so remember? Roman. You know the Romans used to lay do you remember down. Remember this trick, eat? Kate? Hang on, I'll bring you something to nibble on while I finish the rope. I'm a Roman empress. No, Roman no, Empress. no, no. First of all, those aren't washed, those aren't peeled. No, sending back, sending it back, servant.